Hey, how you doing? Welcome to A Tale of Three Cabins. Well, it's finally happening. After uh, several months of uh, wanting to get a trailer for JD and a lot of deals falling through and going back and forth, I'm on my way to go pick up a trailer. A 20-foot dovetail trailer. Supposedly brand new. If everything pans out, I'll be bringing it back with me. So, come check it out and see what happens. What do you do for a living? Running. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I've always done. We're at Southern Trailer Checked Out. I picked it up. I had about a 90 minute drive there and about a 90 minute drive back. About halfway through my ride home, there was a loud thud and the truck kind of lurched a little bit, but it was only momentary and I didn't think anything of it. I thought maybe it was just a pothole from the rough winter roads. When I got home, I noticed something unusual, at least I thought it was unusual. I never had a double axle trailer before, so I wasn't positive, but it appeared that the front axle looked a little suspicious. I had a meeting that night, so I didn't have time to check it out, so I just put it away for the evening. And I did a little research in the meantime. I looked on the internet and I talked to a few people. And basically all I could come up with is what they call an inverted shackle. Some websites called it inverted, others called it flipped. But basically, from what I gathered, is that you need to jack up the trailer. And if you're lucky, you can just push the tire down and the axle will reset itself. If you're not lucky, you might have to take all the bolts off and reposition the shackle. So I got JD out to help me move this trailer around so I can get in a good position on the driveway that I can jack it up. clamp-on hitch that I put on the front of the bucket and a two-inch ball to move it around the trailer. on hitch works good but as you can see I didn't have the ball exactly lined up and it's kind of hard to see when you're lifting it with the bucket in the way. A shackle is mounted between the two axles and attached to the leaf springs. Now from all the vast wisdom that I could get it appears that this shackle will invert or flip when there's not enough weight on the trailer, you hit a large bump, or your tongue is too high coming off of the hitch of your tow vehicle. So I think I can check off all three of those boxes. Pushing down on the tire would not release it. 
I tried a few more times and went and got a crowbar to see if I could find a place where I could pry. I got some movement. I was not prepared for it to drop like a rock. Well, I think that looks normal now. So mission accomplished on this. While I have the trailer out, I'm going to set up the ramps and do a test run to put the tractor on it just to see how it fits. I took a quick measurement to get the center of each of the tires. It's 36 inches between each center and I found the center of the trailer so I can mark the ramp so I can know where to put them every time I set them up. Watching this video I can definitely tell two things. I need to lower the tongue on my hitch and even though it's a subcompact tractor, the weight of it is creating a lot of upward force on my pickup truck. watching today I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you've subscribed to our channel and like us and keep an eye at us take care